What's up guys, Physical Media Man back here again for another Physical Media Man Monday video. I have the Blu-ray collection, part eight. So we're continuing on with that. This will be all of the letter H. Um, before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave feedback, do a lot of good stuff down below. I'll leave the links to my Instagram page, my Physical Media Man store Instagram page, my Facebook page for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store, my Facebook page for non-media non related items, the HodgePodge Garage. Uh, my email, my eBay, my Twitter, my letterbox account. All right, so first up, we have Hall Pass. This is one of the earlier ones I had. Remember it being pretty funny with Owen Wilson and Sudeikis. Um, the original Halloween, I have since upgraded to the 4K, uh, but I'm at least keeping this for a little while longer. I don't know. Probably try to get rid of it, though. Um, the new version, or the new... The first set of the trilogy of the newer Halloween movies, which I might end up getting uh, the 4K set with that trilogy, even though I haven't watched the last one and I didn't care for the second one. This one is pretty decent. Um, but yeah, I have all the other ones now in 4K, so I'll probably go ahead and do that. Uh, next up, we got Hancock for the Will Smith collection. Uh, Hang 'em High. The Hangover, uh, The Hangover Part 2, and The Hangover Part 3. I always thought they should have done one with Alan being the one getting married. I feel like that would have been the best with uh, Galifianakis' uh, character getting married. But the third one's not near as good as the... Well, really, the first one's really good, and the second one's just okay, from what I remember. And the third one was kind of disappointing. Uh... Next up, we've got some Wahlberg and The Happening. Remember not liking that one either. I need to revisit. Um, somewhat recently got these. I had the DVDs and watched them and really liked them a couple Halloweens ago. So we got Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to You. Um, they recently got 4Ks from Scream Factory with no slipcover, which is ridiculous. Um, so I'm fine with keeping just these DVD or Blu-rays. Uh... Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Uh, Hard Bodies. This was a review copy from Mill Creek when I was getting stuff from them. And this movie was, it's its a lot of fun. Um, definitely some 80s cheese, uh, uh, sex com, teen com, whatever. Um, but quite a bit of fun, so I definitely decided to keep that one. Um, Hard Target, which I don't know if it should technically be on the shelf because I don't think I've watched it yet. Uh, all of these should be things I've watched. So um, we got a hard target for the John Claude collection, and I have not watched it yet, so I need to move that. Uh, we got Harsh Times uh, with Christian Bale. Remember, this one being very good. He's in prison um, in the film, and I think this Blu-ray was hard to find there for a while, so happy to have that one. Uh, we got Hearts War for the Bruce Willis collection. Uh, the Hateful Eight for my Tarantino collection. Uh, he's Just Not That Into You, which I don't think I've watched, but I'm sure my wife has, so that must be why I have it in the ones I've seen. Uh, Heat in an old Blockbuster rental DVD case. I need to get this switched over. Really good movie. Um, I don't know if I'll upgrade. I know it's gotten a 4K, um, but I'm just fine with it because it's long. I, I really like it. I just don't watch it too often. Uh, the Heat. Uh, Hell or High Water. Really love this movie. Um, uh, one of my favorites. Hercules for the Rock Collection. Uh, a good popcorn film. Uh, here Comes the Boom. Uh, sports movie, uh, somewhat of a guilty pleasure. Um, I'm happy to have it in my collection. Uh, Hereafter, don't really remember too much about this. I think I was kind of disappointed, but um, produced and directed by Clint Eastwood and it has Matt Damon in it, so that's, that's why I have it. Uh, Highlander. Highlander! Um, 
really remember enjoying this the first time I watched it and somewhat recently um, watched it and didn't like it as much as I had remembered. Um, but we got Christopher Lambert and Sean Connery in the original. I have uh, most of them on DVD, so. Uh, Hit and Run, this was the first film that my wife and I watched uh, in the movie theater together. So um, remember this one being quite a bit of fun, uh, funny. You got Dax Shepard, Kristen Bell, Tom Arnold. Um, so definitely wanted to have that in the collection for that reason and it being a good movie too. Uh, Hitman, this one I remember watching quite a bit in high school. Um, I played some of the video games and really enjoyed them. Timothy Oliphant plays uh, the title character. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, it came out when I was in high school probably. So watch this quite a bit. Uh, brand new factory sealed. I think I watched the DVD first. So that'll probably still be for sale because I think don't think I've sold it. It looks like I bought this for $3 at Goodwill. Uh, we got Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson and the Hitman's Bodyguard. Um, I need to watch the sequel here at some point. All right, getting down to the end, kind of. This is going to be another short video. Um, this one, I got a lot of Christmas movies on Blu-ray recently. I upgraded. Um, this one's one of my wife's favorites, and I like it quite a bit, too. We got Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet, Jude Law, Jack Black, filmed by Nancy Myers, The Holiday. So this one's very good if you haven't seen it. Good rom-com Christmas movie. Uh, next up, my two two of my favorites. We got uh, the first two Home Alone movies. Um, I have upgraded these to 4K. I think I'm missing the slip covers on both. I don't know if I assume they came with them. Um, uh, they need to uh, do a Blu-ray of the third one. I, I like the third one, um, not near as well as these two, but. I'm still a fan of it, and I want to have it on something other than DVD, and I, I bet it would do decently well selling-wise. So, anyways, uh, my favorite movie ever, Home Alone. So, so I have it on DVD and Blu-ray and all sorts of formats. Uh, next up is another one I thought was very good, uh, Jason Statham, James Franco, and Homefront. Um, this one I want to revisit. We got Nicolas Cage, James Caan, and uh, Sarah Jessica Parker in Honeymoon in Vegas. Uh, Hoosiers. Uh, being from Indiana, definitely have to have this in the collection. And this is the, the neat version that has a Hoosier history documentary as well as the original 1954 championship game. Um, I'll try to remember to leave the link down below. I did a vlog video where I go to the Hoosier Gym in Knightstown, Indiana, which is near me, as well as the Milan Museum, which is also near me, um, and the Milan Museum, so that the real story of this was based off the Milan team that uh, won the state championship in 1954, and um, at that time, there was only one class for basketball, so a real underdog story and it inspired this this great film so um, horrible bosses still need to watch the second one i think i have a copy i think one of you guys might have uh traded or sent me a copy so i need to watch that still but remember this one being pretty funny um, hostage i think this one's kind of underrated in the the thriller genre a uh, great movie with uh, bruce willis in it one of my earlier uh blu-rays so need to revisit that one uh, hot Tub Time Machine, uh, kind of same thing. I have not watched the second one, but I uh, remember having quite a bit of fun with this. I think all the, the main characters are very funny. John Cusack, um, Craig Robinson, and all the others. Uh, this was a, a Dollar Tree title that kind of surprised me. It looked okay from the trailers, but I, I thought it was better than I was expecting it to be. We got Will Ferrell and Amy Poehler in the house. And I'm a fan of both of them, so um, probably more for the Will Ferrell collection, but I'm um, happy to have it in the collection. Uh, this one we recently watched in October. Um, this one also was kind of surprising and better than I thought it was going to be, so I definitely plan on keeping it. Pretty big Jack Black fan, so we got uh, the house with the clock in its walls. Um, next up is another Bruce Willis one. This one's way over the top. Um, catch the excitement. Catch the adventure. Catch the hawk. Hudson Hawk. Uh, this is with the retro VHS slipcover, another one that Mill Creek sent my way um, a few years ago. Um, 
quite a bit of fun. <laughs> Not a really good movie, but um, like I said, quite a bit of fun. So I think this is getting a, a Kino. I probably won't upgrade, but um, there's that one for the Bruce Willis collection. Uh, next up is a Martin Scorsese picture. Um, pretty decent film. I enjoyed watching it. We got Hugo. This is one I put off a while, and I always got it confused with um, another another film that was kind of similar to this. So uh, this one I haven't watched in a while. We got Hustle and Flow. Remember this one being pretty good, and the soundtrack being good as well with some Three Six Mafia uh, music. And lastly. Uh, we got Paul Newman and Jackie Gleason and The Hustler for the Paul Newman collection. So that's everything for the letter H. Um, pretty good uh, letter for movies um, in my collection. So we'll continue on with I. Um, I got I, J, and K left on the one shelf, and then I have another shelf left. So we'll be definitely over 10, 10 uh, episodes in this series. Hope you all are enjoying this. If you have any other type of videos that you want to see from me that are similar to this, just let me know and I'll try to get them together. I did have a 30 minute uh, movie review update video from a lot of the titles that I had watched and I had not yet talked about. And I'm having trouble getting it over from my new phone to my computer, which is old. Um, so hopefully I end up getting that together. Otherwise it'll just get scrapped. Um, I do have some November pickups to show off and that sort of thing, um, as well as some other ideas and, and things like that. So hope you enjoyed this. This is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical Media will never die. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man.